In this video, we will show you how to use a handheld camera microscope to do a scalp examination on our sample client. I will be using the D-Lite camera microscope. This is one example of many types of handheld cameras that are available to do a scalp examination. And I'll be using the standard software that comes with the D-Lite microscope, but there is advanced software available called CompareView Hair that allows you to do more advanced analysis of the scalp. I'll be using the 10 to 200 zoom lens and the standard tip. This lens allows you to examine the scalp at different magnifications. Um, so I'll be going back and forth between 100 and 200x. So the first step is to, um, to choose an area of the hair or the scalp you'd like to examine. And to view the scalp, you will part the hair using your fingertips. So moving the hair aside so you can clearly see the scalp between your fingers. And then using the tip of the D-Lite microscope, you touch directly onto the scalp and then you turn the focus wheel to adjust focus. So I've got the tip touched to the scalp and I'm turning the focus wheel to focus and zoom. So this is the 100x setting. So uh, the things I'm looking for are, um, are the condition of the actual follicle and the scalp. Uh, a healthy scalp will have uh, nice open pores. It will have um, you know, even coloring. Uh, there would be no redness or splotching. And some conditions of the scalp that you'll be examining are a dead skin or dandruff, flaking skin, uh, which is clearly visible. You'll be looking for the oiliness of the scalp, for sebum, which can block follicles and, and uh, assist in hair loss. Um, you'll be looking for inflammation or redness on the scalp, which is clearly seen. Uh, and you'll be looking for the general uh, health of the hair, the hair itself. You can uh, examine things like um, heat damage and um, you know, product buildup. So I'm going to zoom now into 200x just by turning the zoom and focus wheel on the D-Lite microscope and zoom in at 200x, which gives you a much closer view of the individual follicle. So you can get a closer examination by zooming in and out with the D-Lite microscope. At any point or when you've got an image that you want to capture and save, you just touch the capture button. So I hit the button on the D-Lite microscope and that image is now saved on the computer and can be examined and compared with other images. So I'll move to a different part of the scalp. We'll move to the back part of the scalp here. Tip your head down a little bit. You can part, your, part the hair with your fingers and touch the tip of the D-Lite to the scalp. And now you can examine those same conditions on different parts of the scalp. And I'll capture a new picture here in the crown of the head by touching the capture button. And then we can examine these images by clicking on the image in the software. This is the image on the side of the head and double clicking on the image on the crown of the head allows you to compare these images side by side. Advanced software allows you to annotate these images and to uh, do more advanced analysis on the scalp. That is CompareView Hair. There is also a polarizing tip which allows you to polarize the light and that will give you um, a, a non-glare view of the, of the scalp for enhancing redness and, um, and color of the scalp. So those are the ways that you can use a handheld camera microscope to do a scalp examination.